Today we will take a look on ATA21, which is air conditioning system, because I need to replace bypass valve on this Airbus A320 uh, pack system. So let's take a look at it. First of all, we need to open this big belly, belly fairing panel. Since the panel holds on two cables, it's basically easy to lower it. Okay. This is our air conditioning bay, and our bypass valve is over here. The first thing to pull all CBs. So, this is one. And the last one is ink 18. Ink 18. Good. And CB clips. Okay. So, three, four. It's always easy with one hand. So, we need to, we can start. First thing first, we can disconnect the electrical connector and a uh, bonding jumper is the second thing and from this point it's very simple uh, it holds on the plate thanks to uh, two clamps one is up here uh, which is outlet of the air cycle machine which goes to the heater and the other one is basically downstream of the primary heat exchanger and it splits the air between the bypass and air cycle machine so let's open that section and we need to go all the way uh, those nuts are self-locking so they need to go Part in and out. One more. Perfect. That's one clamp. Now more on the top. And the same procedure. One part and the valve itself. Here is the bypass valve. It is simple butterfly valve and it is um, modulatable. So you can adjust the flap to the position which you need. So how much air you need, that much it will open. So it is it's installed downstream of the primary heat exchanger. This heat exchanger is here to uh, reduce the temperature of the air which comes from the bleed. And before it will enter to air cycle machine, it is split. So one part goes to air cycle machine. The other part, thanks to our bypass valve, is transferred on the outlet of air cycle machine. Uh, this air is then used to heat a bit of heat a bit air on the outlet of the air cycle machine to melt down the ice, which can build up inside of the condenser. And from there, the air continues to a mixer which is in the uh, forward cargo. Uh, this function helps a condenser to condense the water and then it is easier separated in the water separator and from there the air continues to reheater. Uh, now let's take a look on schematic because it might be easier to understand the function. 
So let's break it down because on the airplane it looks like that uh, air from the primary heat exchanger goes to air cycle machine and then directly to the condenser which is not really true. Since air cycle machine is made out of turbine compressor and it also drives the air cycle machine fan which moves the air inside of the cooling duct. And temperature at the discharge of the air cycle machine can be between 3 to 10 degrees, even lower, and it's a huge reduction since we know that the temperature of the bleed air which enters into the pack is around 200 degrees. From the air cycle machine, air enters into the condenser, and as I said before, we want to water condensed air, not to freeze. And for that reason, we have here our bypass valve, which always keeps the temperature above 0 degrees of Celsius, and it also keeps the temperature of the bleed air which comes from the pack between 4 to 10 degrees. Hopefully this explanation gives you better understanding how bypass valve works and now let's go back to our replacement. The whole video about the reheater you can find up here or there. Uh, definitely you will find it in the description below uh, where I basically uh, explain the whole function of uh, water separation process. So if you want, take a look at it and we're going to install the new uh, bypass valve. So lubrication with a dry lubricant, all seals, so one, one is over here, the other one will be installed on the, on the valve itself and the third one is in the duct. And since everything is properly lubricated, we can proceed with the uh, installation. Which means that wealth, duct, place it on the place. Clamps, and we can install the nuts basically the valve need to be adjusted to position that when I plug the connector it cannot touch the the pipe because it's really hot and we don't want to melt that and as well the bonding lead need to be in position that it will not going to be stretched and it cannot be damaged. So it's basically this position. This is perfect place. So connector up and we can tighten the bottom clamp. Yeah, the top one as well. A bit more because it's still free. Okay, now torque value. Mm, manual. Torque the clamps. Very good. Torque wrench. And let's start. <laughs> okay, this one is done. So now we move to the one on the top. And basically the same procedure. Perfect. So that's done. Now we can continue with bonding lead. Okay. Yeah, maybe some. 
Now the connector. That's nice for you. Now, torque seal. And I need to protect the bonding. So, protection of the bonding. And now it's time for leak check and test. So we can close CVs which we pulled. And we can wake up the airplane. As you can see, the valve is doing electrically well because we have a pointer. If the, if the valve will not gonna communicate, we'll get a X here instead of this pointer. So it's time to make a leak check. APU is uh, on. So we can switch on APU bleed. Everything is pressurized. Now we get pressure also to the right side. And let's switch on pack number one. Pack valve is open. And as you can see, we get already change of the temperature, which means that pack is running. And you can see that uh, bypass valve is already moving, it's changing position. So the function uh, works as it should, or the function of the valve is confirmed. Later on, we will, of course, make a test for it. Now let's make a leak check. Check is complete, so we can switch off the pack. APU bleed as well. Yeah, and you can see pressure dropped. APU bleed is gone. We lost the pressure. And uh, now we can perform the test. Okay. Let's cut the APU. Huh? And since leak test pass, uh, we can make a test of the system start yes the packs are off yeah i did it before uh yeah we'll confirm the start and this test is taking a long time because as you can see it is checking everything everything inside of the pack is moving at the moment uh, every component which uh, uh, have a servo motor is moving, is doing something. And this test is basically diagnostic of the system. So we will check every part, um, every connection, every sensor. We're gonna send a report uh, to the computer. And if there will be something wrong with the system, we'll get, we'll get it over here. And basically that caution which you saw there, uh, it is because also the rammer flap will gonna move and uh, if somebody is there or put the fingers there uh, this actuator doesn't really think that you can be there that's why you have the warning you need to be aware that nobody is there so I have a colleague down and he is uh, checking the situation and uh, to uh, not let anybody get close so there will be no injuries that's why you had that the warning there that flap and everything inside will gonna move and here is our result since there is no problem we have test okay 
that's what we want. And since uh, leak check pass and electric electrical test pass, we can close the compartment. So let's go. That's all about bypass valve. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comments below. And as always, I would like to ask you to don't use this as a replacement for your maintenance manual, but always use latest documentation released by manufacturer. Big thanks to Austrian Airlines that they let me to record all these videos for you. Uh, big thanks to each and everybody who are watching my videos and especially to members. That's all from my side. My name is Tomáš. This was Aircraft Maintenance with Zeto and I will see you as always on next video. Bye.